Hello everyone, I'm Mike Allen from Bird Chatter, and this is Baseball History. A baseball season can unwind like a fantastic story, usually different than the last or next. If you go back exactly 100 years, you'll find perhaps the greatest baseball season ever recorded. In this Bird Chatter video, we are going to turn back the clock 100 years to 1920. With the Indians taking a slim lead into the season's final weekend, everyone was excited for a big finish. Then the bomb dropped. On September 28th, eight White Sox players were indicted and suspended by owner Charlie Kamitsky. The Indians pulled ahead and won the pennant by two games over the White Sox. Billy Mayharg was talking. The man who, with Bill Burns and others, had attempted to orchestrate a fix for the 1919 World Series and got no money for his troubles, became the first figure from within to reveal the story to the press. A grand jury in Chicago already investigating a possibility of a fix of a Phillies-Cubs game in August switched gears and began focusing solely on the 1919 World Series. Some of the Black Sox players, under more pressure than ever to clear their guilty minds, broke quickly. A day after the Mayhard story hit the newsstands, Eddie Sicotti and Joe Jackson confessed to the grand jury. Lefty Williams quickly followed. Happy Felsch revealed what he knew to a Chicago newspaper reporter. And the ugly rumors were finally confirmed. The 1919 World Series had indeed been fixed. Confessions quickly led to suspensions and the AL race was suddenly over. All conspiring Chicago players weren't allowed to finish the season, leaving a terribly handicapped roster at the disposal of manager Kid Gleason. The Indians coasted to the AL pennant by two games over what was left of the White Sox and by three over the New York Yankees. From Bird Chatter, I'm Mike Allen. Subscribe to our channel for all our compilation videos. And you can see all of our artwork we use by visiting us on Pinterest.